Hey guys, it's Richard from Home Tech Video. I just wanted to give a quick update on my Raspberry Pi picture frame slash UI2 viewing station. I just got in a new Chromebook uh, LCD laptop monitor replacement screen, which as you can see, this thing is super thin, which is nice. So when I'm actually putting everything together in the wooden frame, it's not gonna stick out too much or it's not gonna be too thick. Um, it's 11.6 inches and um, it has a resolution of... Uh, 1366 by 768, which is pretty, it's going to be, you know, pretty good. I only paid 40 bucks for it. And then also I have the driver board, which the driver board basically allows me to connect um, the screen from an HDMI cable into the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go and start it up, show you that the boot up process, I hit a button on here. And then show you uh, the viewing angles from this. So as it's coming on, looking from the left, and then if I go over here to the right, Still pretty good viewing angle, so you don't really lose any picture quality or anything when you're looking at it from the sides. And the top is pretty good. When you start to go down, you kind of lose it when you're looking at it, you know, on a bottom, you know, from the bottom angle. But, you know, the way that it's sitting now, it's probably going to be designed to uh, be like that at that angle. I'm not touching anything. This is all doing it all by itself with Python scripts. So it opens up Shotwell, starts the uh, slideshow presentation, waits a couple of seconds, and then opens up UI2. There we go. And then if I want to switch between uh, the program, I have a button right here, just press, switches between them. Um, one other thing that you will need, I had one of these laying around so I didn't have to buy one separately, but a uh, power adapter for the driver board. Um, it needs at least 12 volts and uh, it says more than 2 amps, so this is a 12 volt 3 amp power supply. So this came out of like an old laptop charger or something like that, I can't remember, I just have a bunch of electronics laying around. But that's what's going to power the driver board. And then when I'm building everything, I'm just waiting on a, a friend of mine to uh, find some time for me to go over there. I'm not really good with woodworking, and he is, and he has all the, the tools and things to do it. So I'm going to go over there and put everything together, which is going to be the last step of the assembly. And then also for cooling, what I'm going to do is take this little fan off of here and uh, have it wired in on probably the back side of the picture frame from um, from the inside so it's going to be able to cool it like that so yeah and then like I said I have a hit button right here hit it to switch between them and then when I want to shut down this button in the back I just hit it and it'll shut it down All right, so the next video that you see me uploading hopefully will be of the assembly process of the frame. So thank you all for watching, guys. Have a great day.